Life has always been a Sam's Club. You know, I want every experience in bulk. That'll get you kicked off Tinder living like that. <laughs> True story, I got kicked off Tinder about three and a half years ago. Um, probably the best thing that ever happened to me, to be honest. Uh, sometimes you have to take the rattle away from the baby. There's other people on this airplane. <laughs> this is not a private flight, sir. I do. I just got no boundaries. I have a hard time with boundaries and limits. You know what I mean? Uh, I tried to figure out where this came from. And I, I had a breakthrough recently. Not too long. I think I discovered where this no-limit lifestyle occurred or what, what triggered it. I was a preemie baby, which is a cute way of saying I was born premature without fully formed organs. It's like uh, when you don't cook a DiGiorno pizza all the way. You know, it's like, oh, my baby's still soft in the middle. It's like, well, put him in the microwave, hit seven. You know he's done when you can smell him. <laughs> Babies are like corn, you know? But I was a preemie baby. I was born at seven months. The doctor said I was a miracle baby, that uh, I should have died, but I had this will to live. They couldn't explain where it came from, right? Uh, so it was a miracle. But here's the thing. At six months, a month before that, I tried to jailbreak. I tried to get out of my mom. And so my dad rushed her to the hospital. This is Dayton, Ohio, 1976. So we didn't have all the technology then that we do now. So the doctor says, if this child is born right now, it will die. We have to stop it. So the only thing they had to stop me was a shot of pure alcohol. So they put a syringe of pure alcohol into my mom and it stopped me from being born, which means the drunkest I've ever been in my entire life <laughs> was before I was even born. And I've been chasing that dragon every day of my life since. <laughs> I didn't even realize it. Like, no wonder I could never have enough bourbon or enough blow. That dragon's tail was always slipping out of my hands because it was covered in placenta, you know? People always want to share their drunkest stories. Like, dude, a year ago, I was legendarily drunk. The drunkest I've ever been. Dude, I ordered like $300 worth of camping gear off of Amazon Prime. I didn't even remember I did it until it showed up two days later. Like, I was wasted. Like, what's the drunkest you've ever been? I was like, oh, me? It was a long time ago. But uh, one time, I got so drunk, I chose not to exist yet. Yeah. They say I couldn't even move for like a month, you know? People are always like, you got to be careful, you're going to drink yourself to death. I might be the only person you know who drank himself to life. <laughs> so do I want to have a beer and a shot with you? Like, yeah, every day, all day long, dude. It's like the only way I know how to live. But shit, I can't stay alive. It's the only way I know how to live, but I can't stay alive like that. You know what I mean? I got no cartilage in the left side of my nose anymore. <laughs> Sandblasted it all the way over the years with cheap powders in southern Ohio. <laughs> If you get real close to my face, you can see a tiny little orange triangle on the outside of my nose that says, please slow down, my daddy works here. <laughs> Can't do that. 